A man who previously worked as a prison guard beheaded his 17-year-old teen girlfriend and threw her head into her mom's garden. The man accused is Ivan Jode Oliveira Lima, 37 years old, who is alleged to have admitted in February 2020 of stabbing the victim to death, Larissa Aurelia da Costa Silva. Police had reported that Ivan Ho, who was fired as a prison guard in Brazil, had beheaded his girlfriend after murdering her. The Daily Star wrote that he had made a threat months before to commit this crime. After committing the atrocious crime, he went to have some beers with friends at a football pitch. He admitted to killing his girlfriend who was much younger than him after he was arrested at the pitch. The police that took him into custody uncovered horrific videos that he recorded of attacking his girlfriend on his phone. Martin Hessel, a police officer dealing with the case, has said, what we know is that there was an argument between them and during the argument the perpetrator, who had a knife, struck the blows and then cut off her head. Ivanhoe had met Larissa when she was just 14 years old and had been living in the same place with her. He was sacked from his job as a prison guard because he was caught smuggling active yeast. The prisoners use it to make popular alcohol called Mad Maria, which is very common in Brazilian jails. He had then gotten a job in a car wash, the time when he murdered Larissa. Larissa's half-sister, Leandra, described their relationship as extremely abusive and that he threatened Larissa months before he killed her. She also added, he hit her right there and promised that he would deliver her head to the door of her mother's house the next time he felt angry. A neighbor who had heard Larissa's screams the night before she died had sounded the alarm and apparently it all went quiet after. The next day, the neighbor had gone to the house to check what was going on and Larissa's body was found motionless on the floor and was completely covered in blood. Leandra mentioned of the neighbor. She then followed the blood trail and arrived at Larissa's mother's house where she saw the head. It was really distressing. We never imagined that something like this would happen to our family. Due to COVID-19, Ivanhoe appeared in Rio Branco call by a video link and he has answered no questions thus far. He has stated that he will answer all the questions only in court. The trial is underway and more information is to follow.